We're at the Art Gallery of Ontario today in Toronto, Canada. This place is huge. The building complex takes up 480,000 square feet of physical space, making it one of the largest art museums in North America. It was established back in 1900, and today there are over 120,000 works in the museum collection. This is a beautiful museum, and here are the top 15 works outside the building and inside the building. Number one, sitting right outside the museum, Couch Monster. It was made by Canadian artist Brian Youngen from old leather couches. And here is the artist, Brian Youngen. Number two from South Korean sculptor Hege Wang. This most unusual sculpture sits above the cafeteria inside the building. Born in 1878, Welsh painter Augustus Edwin John was once considered the most important artist in Britain. In 1968, British sculptor Henry Moore donated many of his works to the museum. And in 1974, the Henry Moore Sculpture Center opened within the museum. And here is Henry Moore. Number five, this beautiful work, Andromeda, is from French printmaker and painter Marie Laurencine. She was born in 1883 and died in 1956. Number six is from Susie Lake, an American Canadian artist based in Toronto. And in case you were wondering, this is a photograph. And speaking of photographs, here's one of Susie Lake. Number seven, Etretat is a region in Normandy in Northwest France. Number eight is a beautiful landscape by Pierre Auguste Renoir. Alfred Sisley was an Impressionist landscape painter who was born and spent most of his life in France. Although the person in Rembrandt's painting is not clearly identified, many feel it is Rembrandt's daughter-in-law. Number 11, Flemish artist Peter Paul Rubens was born back in 1577. His painting is from the Gospel of Matthew in which King Herod orders the execution of all male children under two years of age. Number 12, a couple of paintings from Pablo Picasso. This highly unusual sculpture is believed to be a West African god that guards villages from evil. It comes from British Trinidad artist Zach Ovey. The deluge is number 14. This painting is about colonization and indigenous resilience. This powerful painting is from Cree artist Kent Monkman. And number 15, last but not least, a Vincent van Gogh. I hope you enjoyed my tour, and if you did, hit that like button. And also, I'd love to hear if you agree or disagree with my top 15.